I just your arm. That's so fun. Yeah, it's a pretty strong arm. Oh. <laughs> good, now I have a good intro. Thanks, babe. <laughs> ah! My suit cheese is to my channel and if you're new welcome today we're going to be doing a get ready with me slash get to know me so if you are interested in learning who I am then please keep watching okay so what I use today to prep my skin so my moisturizer I haven't primed yet is going to be the Dr. Jart mine kind of looks sad but this moisturizer, I don't know how to pronounce it. I honestly call it the Caterpillar. <laughs> the Caterpillar moisturizer. But I absolutely love that. It's great if you have super sensitive skin and you're acne prone. Um, so I'm going to prep my skin with my usual, my Drunk Elephant oil, and then also my Josie Moran, which is right here. So... I don't even know how to begin, like, talking about myself. Well, first, my name is Caitlin Rose Reed, so that is my full name. Um, I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio. My birthday is July 24th, 1995, so I am a Leo. I'm very much of a Leo. So I'm just going to use this and put this all over my face. Let's see, let's see. I've been a pro makeup artist for five years now. Um, if you watched my last video, you know that I used to work for MAC Cosmetics. I still do as freelance, just not as a permanent artist anymore. And now I focus more on like freelancing, so weddings and special event makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my brows. I tweeze them, so that is why like, I tweeze them literally right before I started recording, so that's why they're super red. I did, I googled some questions, well I Pinterest some questions that I can answer, so let's start with that list. So the first question is, what is your favorite color? So my favorite color is green, any form of green I love. And then my second favorite color is like a baby powder pink. And when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with the Powerpuff Girls. And Buttercup was my favorite because she was green. And she was kind of mean. So that's when I decided. I was like four. I was like, green's my favorite color because that's what color Buttercup is. I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia dip brow in chocolate. What is your favorite food? Does coffee count as food? I literally love iced coffee. I love iced coffee so much. I also really like seafood, like crab legs, sushi, those types of things. I really love eating and trying new places. That's definitely something that we often do. Um, recently we tried this new chicken restaurant. It's called, I wanna say it's called Fiery Hen. If it's not, then I don't know how to pronounce the first word. But it was good. They had the best sweet potato fries. They were so crispy and it came with like this dipping sauce. Mm, I loved it. What else? What else about me? Um, I have a six-year-old brother, so we are 16 and a half years apart. He is like, he acts so much like me. He's so sassy. The sassiest little six-year-old ever. I have a boyfriend. His name is Charles. He is amazing and so supportive. I have a great support system between him and my family and my friends. Thank you all, because I know you'll be watching this. So I love you guys. 
It's like a radio shout out. I want to shout out my. So I'm just going to continue to fill these in. So I will tell you guys I'm getting ready to go eat sushi actually. So getting ready for dinner. <laughs> oh, you know, just things you keep on your uh, makeup desk. So the next question is what is your favorite animal? So I have two. A lot of my answers have two. I guess I'm just indecisive. My first favorite animal is a whale. I love whales of any kind. You know what I'd be? A whale. I think I really love whales because they never leave their young. Like their babies, their calves always stay with them throughout their whole life, which I just think is amazing they're also super intelligent creatures i love all the bbc um documentaries on netflix about wildlife i just love anything about the ocean and then um i also really love the documentary blackfish if you haven't seen that it is so great um i hate sea world sorry if you love it i absolutely hate it and if you watch the documentary, you will definitely see why. So I'm just cleaning up my brow. So I'm using MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW15. And then my second favorite animal is a moose. I don't know why I love moose besides they're the cutest things ever. So what is your favorite day of the week? The weekend. <laughs> That's when all of my weddings are or my special events. So I really love doing those. So I think that's why the weekend is super fun to me. This is hard. How do you talk about yourself? Uh, hi. <laughs> I also feel like this video will probably be a little bit everywhere because I get sidetracked, especially when telling stories or talking. But come on, I'm still on my freaking brows. I have a hair between my eyebrows. My eyebrows will literally grow in. I will tweeze my eyebrows and they will literally grow in the next morning. Like I... Never tweezed them before. No, I mean, that's mascara. Brow gel. Now that we have our brows done, freaking 10 minutes later, I'm going to start on my eyes. So I'm gonna prep them with my Painterly Paint Pot. So I went and got my nails done today. Shout out to my nail tech, Tessa G. You want to follow her on Instagram? It is Tessa G Nails. She is amazing. When it comes to my nails, I am a two-week type of person. Like once it hits the second week, I need to be in there. Also, I like switching my nails up. Okay, we got that blended on. I'm gonna go in with my Mac 224. And let's go in with our next question. What is your favorite piece of clothing? Leggings. And then the second answer, hoodies. Anything cozy. So I'm very like, I'm in comfy clothes right now because this is a get ready with me. So this is how I would get ready if I wasn't filming. But when I'm filming, I, I kind of put myself together. I cannot open this. So I have like my hair at least parted down the middle of that, not in a ponytail with a headband. So I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. We're gonna start with the shade Play right here. That's what I'm gonna use as my transition shade. Um, I don't really know what kind of eye I'm gonna do quite yet. We're just going to get some sush. I'm craving some sush. So just blending that all into the crease. What is your favorite activity? Shopping. Any form of shopping. 
with the grocery store. Sometimes I don't enjoy the grocery store. I love online shopping. I love researching and finding a specific thing I want, hunting that item down. I really like the hunt of it. That is like one of my favorite things to do. So like Etsy and eBay, like those kinds of things. Like I love finding rare things. So I'm going in with Uninterrupted. So this is a MAC palette that I put together. These are Pro Longwear eyeshadows. They are no longer sold. Uninterrupted is, but it's just a normal eyeshadow now. So this is the shade I'm going in with. It is one of my favorites. So when I found out that they were discontinuing it, I literally bought like um, four of them because that's how much I love it. It's just like the perfect warm crease shade and it's great for every day too. Ooh, if I want a lot of money, what would I buy first? I would say probably an Audi R8 and then I'd buy a house. So I'm still just continuing with uninterrupted in my crease. I'm kind of taking it a little bit on the outer V and then we'll just go back in with our 224 and blend that out. When do you like to get up in the morning? When the morning's over. I am literally the worst morning person. You know, those sleep apps that they have. So I bought one because like I have trouble waking up in the morning and it's supposed to start waking you at your lightest sleep. Mine was like all down here, like deep sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep. I'm just not a morning person. I am very much a night owl. I like the night. Now I'm going in with, this was a holiday eyeshadow from MAC. It was a um, dazzle shadow, but it's called P for Pink. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna go in with a synthetic flat brush and I'm just gonna press that on my lid. Look at that. Oh, obsessed. This is really hard. Like I feel like I'm reading a list of questions and answering it. It's like speed dating. Get to know me. 30 seconds. That's what this is. Speed dating. Speed dating, get to know me. Speed getting to know me. I don't know, we'll work on it. We'll work on the title. I don't have a favorite book. I really struggle when it comes to reading comprehension. So I definitely have to reread something to get the full meaning out of it. I'm just a very visual person. That's why I'm very much like an Instagram kind of person. But I love quotes. But I think that's because I'm such an emotional person that I enjoy like feeling something. So when reading a quote, I like it to like Oh, like touch my heart kind of thing. Coffee break. I think that's all we're gonna do to the eyes. I'm just gonna make sure everything is blended. Yeah, that's cute. We'll go with her. So if you haven't watched my all about the skin video, I really suggest that because you're gonna see how I feel about these foundation products I'm using. So this is the Flesh Beauty Thick Stick Foundation. Isn't that the cutest name? A little thick stick. So I'm just using a Real Technique sponge. If you see mine has a hole in it, it's because my nail, whenever I get my nails done, they're always sharp and that's where I hold it. So it rips it. I know I'm not the only one out there that that's an issue for. Every time I sit down to film, my nose wants to run. Why? What do you have against me? So one of the questions on here is what is your favorite candy? Kinder Hippos. They are the most addicting thing ever. My Oma gets them for me whenever she's at Jungle Gyms. And she'll just give them to me like five boxes at a time. So they're like a wafer with like chocolate. It's just, it's so good. Go try it, especially if you're a chocolate person. I am definitely a chocolate person more than I am a like fruity candy type of person. So like I don't like nerds and I don't like 
lifesavers or gummies like anything like that I'm not a huge fan of so now I'm going in with the hourglass vanish foundation the new seamless one I also did a wear test on this foundation so if you've not seen that it is my last video I uploaded so you should go watch it and tell me what you think let's talk about some of my favorite brands that's a good topic so when it comes to eyeshadow I really enjoy uh, Melt Cosmetics they have some of the best shadows so that's what like my smoke session one is um, that I did for my Brad Stall challenge in the pans are ginormous too also really love ColourPop they have really good affordable shadows and we all know I love their super shop cheek and smoke and whistles it's like one of my favorite like highlighters Anastasia also has really good shadows um I have their throwback I have their lavish palette which was one of the first shadow palettes that they created and that's where the shade um, orange soda came from which is one of my favorite transition shades ever another throwback it reminds me of Samoa silk by Mac cosmetics so it's just like this beautiful like orange light here I actually have it right here so orange soda right there the best So another thing about me is I am a goal-oriented type of person, so I love goals and I love growth. So I definitely like setting those goals for myself. So here is the planner I have from Belfry. Here, we'll use January as an example because it's right here. So here is their month layout. Down here is where they have monthly goals. And then when you open it up to the week, it has what is your weekly goal. So I really love that because it just reminds you and helps you stay focused, especially if you are a person that needs to kind of re-motivate yourself, tell yourself that everything is going to be okay, because I am definitely one of those people. I will, you know, get wrapped up in my head about things, and I'm a huge overthinker. That kind of grounds me like, hey, you're okay, you're good, you got this, like, Stay focused. Also, Real Techniques is coming for Beauty Blender with their sponge. It is so soft now, like they completely changed it. And my Beauty Blender tears up just like my Real Techniques sponge does too, so. And there's a $15 difference. So for concealer, I'm going to be using my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. So I'm going to place this under my eyes, like I usually do. Now I'm going to go in with Cover FX Power Play Concealer I wear in Fair One. I'm just going to use this, put it on the high points of my face. Okay, we're done. Hope you enjoyed this look. Can you only imagine? Blend it on out. If my neck's not blended, it's okay. So another one of the questions on this little list was what is your favorite thing about yourself? I really like how passionate I am about things. Like if I'm if I'm passionate about something then I'm all for it. I, you know, dedicate everything to it. I'm a very loyal person, but I'm definitely like an all-in type of person. Like I don't half do anything. It's all or nothing. I like give a hundred and like fifty percent to everything I do. I think that's why it took me so long to actually create a YouTube. Is because I don't feel like I was. I don't think I was like mentally prepared for it and you know I really I really invested in you know like my time and my equipment and just when everyone thank you everyone who told me 
to start a YouTube, whether it was way back then or if it was more recently. Thank you guys for your support and your encouragement. But I just think right now in my life, I can make the time to do it. You know, I can, I can invest in it more. Somebody please tell me what the Fenty Beauty powder smells like because it smells like something from my childhood. And I can't think of it, but it smells so good. See, this is working on nice things. I'm definitely a perfectionist, so when I do something, I want it to be perfect as well. Ooh, what is your favorite breakfast food? All of it. So my Nana literally makes the best breakfast. So anytime I go visit her, she always has breakfast for me and it's delicious. Something I would definitely want them to bring back would be 3D Doritos. 3D Doritos worthy stuff. Literally amazing. I talk about that all the time. It's gonna be the most random get ready with me slash get to know me. Ugh. Oh, another question on this little list was what is your favorite song? So currently I'm gonna do like what my current favorite song is. And it is Nights Like This by Kilami. So I'll play a little of it. love that song. I love her. Oh, I remember, I think it was like, I started listening to her in 2015. Do we get a little too glowy right there? Nah. Now I'm gonna do my under eyes. So first I'm gonna go in with my NARS nude eye pencil. I will link the actual shade below because I don't know how to pronounce it. So going into my waterline with this. I don't know why I like sing when I explain what I'm doing. So it's not even really singing. So I did a bride one time and she said that Ash K. Holm, the makeup artist, told her that this is one of her favorite nude pencils and actually gave it to her. I was like, oh my God, that's freaking so cool. So after I like did her makeup, I went and bought it. I was like, yeah, I want a nude liner. She thinks it's the best. I freaking want it too. I'm gonna go back in with uninterrupted and I'm going to place that underneath my lash line. I'm going to take my 221 and I'm just going to blend everything together. And then back with my 224, I'm just going to make sure that it is nice and blown out and blended. I think that's the biggest thing is like blending and really just taking your time and what kind of tools you have too. So your brushes are definitely an investment. Now because I forgot to put powder highlighter over top, I'm going to be using Double Gleam by MAC. Since we don't have our boost yet, this is again one of my favorite highlighters. And I'm using my Morphe M510 brush. And for fun, we're just gonna go back in with that first synthetic brush. I'm gonna take a little of double gleam and just slightly place it under my brow bone. So when I was at Riley Rose, I found a half eyelash curler. So I'm just gonna be taking this and curling my lashes. I really love this one, because I feel like it can definitely, because with normal lash curlers, I can't get the outer corner, because my lashes curl up, but I definitely can get them with this. So I'll be going in with my NARS Climax Mascara. Ooh, something I just thought about, my favorite season. My favorite season is fall. I love layering. I love jackets, but I love like light jackets. I really love this mascara. And like say you do get a clump in your lash, it's so easy to comb out. Like it doesn't clump them too much where you're like, oh, retreat. 
another favorite mascara of mine and i got this from carly by bell back in like literally 2013. She was like one of the first beauty YouTubers I ever watched, and that is L'Oreal Telescopics. So they switched the packaging. I thought they discontinued it for a while, but they switched it from the black packaging to gold packaging. So I'm just gonna take that and use that on my bottom lashes. I really like this wand because it's more of like a comb wand. So I feel like it's really easy to get into my lashes. Alrighty, so now that all of that's done, I'm gonna go and do my hair and then I will come back, put on a lip, and we'll end this video with this little get ready with me, get to know me. Okay, I am back. I got this together, you know, we put on a little nice sweat sweatshirt zip up moment this is from H&M it is literally the softest thing ever so I got distracted earlier and I forgot to put on blush <sighs> I felt naked I was like what is like what is wrong I always think of like highlight contour and blush like Neapolitan ice cream and I didn't have my strawberry in the middle um, what else was I thinking of? Oh, I hate washing my hair. I literally live off of dry shampoo. So one of my favorite dry shampoos is the Elizabeth and James. Just their different fragrance dry shampoos. So I love the Black Nirvana. I love Bourbon. I've had Rose. I don't like the White Nirvana. I don't like the smell of that. I have the purple fragrance, but I don't think I've tried the dry shampoo in that. But I love all those scents. I love really like musky warm type of scents those are my favorite i'm not a very floral type of person i think mainly because like if it's too fragranted it gives me a migraine which i get those very easily okay let's throw on a lip so i'm just gonna use my nyx natural lip pencil all righty so now we have to choose what lipstick we want to wear I think I'm gonna go with we're gonna do max retro liquid lipstick in softly rockin and we'll do dose of colors lip gloss in barely there Finally, we're done. Oh, another trick I love because I always have little flyaways is taking my clear brow gel and putting them down. I only really care about the ones that are like right in the front. The other ones are whatever. Alrighty, so that is it for this video. As we go through this YouTube journey together, you will get to know me a little bit more, get to get a sense of who I am and my personality but I thank you guys so much for being here tonight or day whatever time it is when you're watching this and I can't wait to see you in my next video hi my favorite way to travel by airplane being passenger <laughs> by being passenger <laughs>